you know, once we submitted, once we were done with the rough cut in a way, and we sent it to Cannes, um, you know, there was also this kind of ticking clock because I was sitting there going, literally like almost like praying in my own head, like going, please, like just let this get in there because I really want him to be there to see, you know, to be acknowledged and for his children who didn't really know much about his journey um, to show the world and for him to kind of be appreciated. And, um, you know, we got in and we just, we didn't believe it. And then we got there and, I think that was like a big job for Liz to get and Leon there and like again even the money to get everybody to Ken was like and well, that was a production in itself. I mean everything is so costly in this business and it's so frustrating. We got Leon there and oh I'll share this with you. So we get there and they said, Well, you need the tuxedo. Of course I showed up with a t shirt with a hole in it. And they <laughs> you know the <laughs> France and at Ken, they were like that's unacceptable. And I'm like, well, that's just the reality. So they borrowed the tux for me. And then Leon was coming in two days after me, before the premiere. And so we called Leon. We're like, Leon, you have to find a tux. And so he goes, oh, he goes, you know what? I think in the closet, I have Tom Cruise's tux from Eyes Wide Shut. <laughs> and we were like, what? And I said, and it fits because it, perf- it fits perfectly. He put it on. He went to the premiere and he had this amazing six minutes of standing ovation to a point that we were in tears and we walked away. We let him stand in the center under the light and people just kept clapping and clapping because they just couldn't believe how much this man did. And his children were literally in tears too. And it was like, that was it. It's like after that, we had premieres. Who cares? That was really the... um, that was the that was the beauty. It was was really a special moment, you know. How many people? How many yeah, people it was get a to say, Oh, I think I have Tom Cruise's tux in my uh, in my <laughs> closet, <laughs> isn't it? But and you know what's so funny? He is like that. Like you would. I was filming with him for like three years, right? Two years would go by, and I would hear, "Oh, did I ever tell you that I have Kubrick's audition?" I mean, it's like you go, "What?" It's been two years. I've asked you that question twenty times. There's so much happened, like in his life and he did so much that sometimes the stuff just out of nowhere he goes you know he tells you stories that you go there's no way why didn't you tell me this before <laughs> and he's like oh i didn't know that i didn't tell you it's but that is just that kind of man he is and that's how rich his life is as you know we had done a lot of research um in a lot of places looking for uh memos and things like that beforehand before yeah. before we met Leon, and then when Tony thought, okay, let's go through these materials, the boxes that Leon had, just, you know, his personal things, and we started to open them, and there was so much, I can't even describe to you what's in those, but despite, you know, there's, first of all, there's notebooks, you saw the notebooks in the movie, just like dumped out, these are notes, everything, sitting next to Kubrick, everything you can imagine, and then there's memos from Stanley and there's weird little mementos and just things. And we were just, our eyes just bugged out. We couldn't believe it. And at one point, um, you know, as Tony said, he reached underneath the couch, the, the couch or something. There were some Tape. tapes and there was the Kubrick audition with uh, Murray Richardson and there oh, were the kids yes. in Kubrick's yes. office. And so, Tony, well, you told us part about how it was. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll share that with you. So one ta- I took a tape that I, I think it was under the couch, and I put it in the machine, and then I hear Stanley's voice. <laughs> and I was like, what the hell? And then I see this woman in a wig, and it was Maria Richardson. And then I see Stanley coming by, and it's the audition tape. And then I'm, like, looking at it going, like, literally, I cannot believe my – because, you know – you know, we're like you, like really Kubrick obsessed. And and I'm going, what is this? And then, of course, I discovered that. He goes, oh, it's the audition tape. And I can hear Leon in the tape. And actually, there is more of that tape that we'll, we will have in SK-13. And um, and then, so, of course, yeah, I can't say, well, can I use this? And then, of course, pause, pause. And then Leon looks at me and goes, do you want to use this? And I'm like, are you fucking kidding? Yes. 